Y'all, this is Richard coming to you straight from uh, the VA hospital in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Talk a little bit about um, the BD Micro Pro processor. Something real simple, a little automated machine, there's nothing to it. And uh, I'm just going to give you a little rundown of what it is, what we're testing, what it does. You know, nothing major, something real easy and simple. So, give me just a second here. That's it right there. Yeah, it's not that big, nothing major. But uh, essentially, what this is testing for is um, uh, uh, causes of vaginitis, which are BV, uh, Canada, and Trichomonas. Um, and how this thing works is that the um, the affirm microbial identification test is based on the principles of nucleic acid hybrid, hybridization. In nucleic acid hybridization tests, complementary nucleic acid strands align to form specific double-stranded complexes called hybrids. The test uses two distinct single-stranded nucleic acid probes for each organism, a capture probe and a color development probe that are complementary to unique genetic sequences of the target organisms. The capture probes are immobilized on a bead bed embedded on a probe analysis card, which contains a separate bead for each target organism. The color development probes are contained in a multi-well reagent cassette. And I don't really have any patience to test right now, and I don't want to open anything up and waste the, the hospital's money, but this is that multi-well that, that it was just, that I had just mentioned. And um, there's a protective film cover on there. I'm not going to rip that off. Like I said, I've already did all my patients for the day. But um, during sample pre preparation, the sample is treated with a lysis solution and, he and heated. This process ruptures the walls of the organism, releasing the nucleic acid analyte. A second solution, the buffer solution, is added. This solution stabilizes the... Excuse me. The solution stabilizes the nucleic acid and establishes the stringency conditions necessary for specific hybridization. At this point, the sample is added to the first well of the reagent cassette, and that's when the automated process uh, begins. So basically, what we're doing here is, you know, the instructions are on here. You would take the... Um, patient sample, you would add 12 drops of this lysis solution, vig vigorously swirl the swab inside for 10 seconds, and then we're going to place it in the incubator and incubate it for 10 minutes at 85 degrees Celsius. And that's that process where the heat breaks down, uh, I think I mentioned the nucleic acid, and it breaks down the organism so it releases the nucleic acid. And after incubation, you're going to add 12 drops of the buffer solution. You're going to flick the tube 10 times and dispose of the swab, the swab or cap that's inside of there. And then we take the caddy and then you add the four drops of the substrate into this last well here. And then you're going to take the patient tube and then you're going to squeeze everything that you can out of there into this little, this little well right here, the first well. And next, the last step is you're going to place the, um, the, um, you're going to place the pack into well number one. And when you get done with that, you're going to place it into one of these little little slots here. And that's what holds the caddy. And you're going to hit run. It's going to run you through all the prompts and processes and stuff that you've got to do. It's going to double check that you've done them. And then that's when the automation begins. And this little arm is going to come forward, pick up that card. And it's going to vigorously go in and out, dip in the um, solution there. And it's going to do that for each well. And this whole process uh, takes about about half an hour and then in half an hour then this the arm will pull the card out and present it forward for you to read the results and here's our little log book where we write our results down I'm not gonna show it to you well I guess I can show you a blank page don't want to give out any patient information but uh, this is where we record our results patient label date time tested you got your negative internal controls, and you write your results for the trichomonas, gardnerella, Canada, and your positive internal control, and tech initials. 
nothing to it real simple whole process from beginning to end uh i don't know about 40 minutes i guess most of that time is done uh, with the incubating and then 30 minutes of the actual testing time but a um, real simple machine but it uh comes in uh, comes real handy and that's it to it i would talk about the gene expert but i'm not going to get into that today maybe another time but uh i like i really like this machine too it's really cool a lot of fun stuff and uh that concludes today's lesson y'all have a good day and see you later